Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, happy Eclipse Day. Hopefully you get to see it. I was testing out my glasses this morning, my little foil shades, and my goodness, it's pitch black. Can't see a thing. Yeah, so anyways, there's that. I'm looking forward to it. It's a little bit after 3 o'clock today. I'll be keeping my dogs indoors. I have overcome the nausea. I started taking ginger. It, started, it helped tremendously, and I'm still taking it, so I'm not getting that woozy, nauseated feeling that I was getting. So that was, that's been my little um, secret that I've been doing to help myself get through it. So anyways, um, speaking of interesting situations, yeah, Lord of the Manor, La Lord of the Manor, I'll say on X, yeah, he, he posted a picture of a dog looking quite mangy. It has no neck. It's got long legs, a hunchback. It's light brown. It's angry and scary and scary looking. It's very boxy, short torso. It's kind of a cross between a mangy old dog and not, you know, it's not something you can quite domesticate. Kind of like Megan, you know. I was thinking it's kind of like her spirit animal is what I was thinking. So yes, if she's, people are saying things on my feed. Here we go about, about her. Um, she did a grand opening to empty shelves. Lots of gimmicks. She seems to be work shy. Um, without bots, um, there's only about 100,000 supposedly. If you look deep into her account on Instagram, um, most of them are dead in empty accounts. Uh, she likes to throw things at the air and hope that something sticks. I've been saying that for a long time, kind of like spaghetti and see what noodle sticks. Uh, the reinvention for attention is a lot of people saying. Uh, she's just always gauging for her popularity. She's done that throughout all these years. She will all, always put out new sources to gauge the success, uh, whether or not it would be a success because she's you know, she, as we know, she's shame avoidant. So she doesn't want to do anything unless she knows for sure it's going to work out. So that's why she does that. And that's why she opened up the store to empty shelves. So yeah, there you have that. What else do I want to say today? Oh, um, yeah, Sophie and Edward were asked to help for the first time. And um, it was for the historic military event at the palace. And Prince Edward and Sophie were there for about 15 minutes long. It was a changing of the guard ceremony at 11 a.m., and it's at, uh, they're going to open up, you guys, Scotland's um, Balmoral, Balmoral Castle around, uh, about to open. It's going to be $126 a head or $189 for af with afternoon tea. More reason to go to Scotland. I really want to go to Scotland and England. Really, really want to go because that is where my genetics are, you guys. I don't know if I've said this enough or I've said it a few, maybe a couple times throughout the years. That um, my mother is like, she did a full DNA thing on herself. She's like 99% uh, English and Scottish. And so she's all that. And um, yeah, and my maiden name is um, definitely of the Irish and uh, English, England and Southern Wales descent. My maiden name from my father and then my mother also. So I really, really want to, that's like on my bucket list, you guys. So yeah, my maiden name, yeah. And then I married a German guy, so there you have it. But anyways, um, yeah, so I, I never did quite like my last name, my maiden name. I didn't like the sounds of it. It definitely came from a person who lived in the countryside. And I just, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a very flattering one at that, unfortunately. I don't know. Kind of rhymes with the former president we had at one point in time. So you can put it together, maybe. I don't know. It's pretty close. When he was kicked out, <laughs> yes, or whatever, close to it. <laughs> Sketchy behavior, let's put it that way. Okay, so here we go. What is the question for today? Today, uh, I want to find out how Marcus Anderson is advising Megan. We know he sticks around, right? He always sticks around. He comes and goes. They get a little tiff tiffy fits, you know. They kind of ghost each other and all of that. And then they do always seem to come back together as we've seen through the years. And the most recent that I saw pictures of him publicly was um, when he was in LA. He was in LA and he, he was with another guy and he looked really tattered, you guys. And I said he looked quite, 
he looked quite mangy like that dog. I mean, he was really, he's really kind of let himself go. Party lifestyle is catching up with him, is what I said. Uh, this was like a month or so ago. So what's he saying to Megan? What's his advice? Has he kind of shut down like, hey, you're on your own, girl. I don't know what to tell you now because it's it's beyond redemption here. Uh, she's never allowed back. She knows it. She's probably not going to go to England. She doesn't want the shame of that. If she can't run rule the roost, she's out, right? <clears throat> it's too embarrassing for her. So definitely I don't get the feeling that she will be there, but Harry will be there. Uh, Harry's trying to put it out there now that he's going to be uh, mending uh, the fence with his brother and all of this. So that's kind of what's uh, trending today. And as we know, William's not interested, but Harry's very into it. And that's what he wants. That's his wishes. That's his projection. Whole different ball game as to how that's going to pan out. He can wish all he wants. And he's not going to get what he wants. He's, it's un, you know, he's just, it's not going to happen. I'm sure he might have a, a few choice words, but that's about it. So what does Marcus Anderson have to say to Megan? Is he just going to blow her off? Because, you know, he's pretty toxic himself and it gets to be too much of a problem. Maybe he may not want to be in alignment with her at this point. Maybe he will permanently delete her from and, and you know, you know, Anderson her instead of Mark getting Markle. He could he could dump her. Uh, what does Marcus have to feel? How does he feel about Megan? How does Marcus feel about Megan? Marcus Anderson. Marcus Anderson. How does Marcus Anderson feel about <clears throat> Megan and her spirit animal, the dog? Yeah, that's kind of her. How does, he, how does he feel about her? How does Marcus Anderson feel about Megan Markle today? What's he saying to her? What's his advice? What's his advice? What's his advice? What's his advice to Megan? Because things aren't looking good for her. Ooh, honey, girlfriend, it is over. There's no redemption. <laughs> oh. Whoops, there you go. Mm, it is totally the end of the adventure. Yeah, it just it's game up, but you can play victim. You know, I think you're cursed. He'll say you've been cursed. Yeah, it's over. It's very much over. And you're just going to have to find some courage somehow. Deny it all. Deny, 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 deny. So it'll be deny, deflect, reverse victim offender. So she's, it's Darvo. Just play Darvo, girlfriend. That's it. Do it. And then let go. Let go of the current path, the one that you were on, and go for a new one. So I don't see her going. It is definitely the whole Darvo. And he knows that she's never going to get anything back. Uh, it's just, it's, it's a real dark energy there. So this one came out too. I'll take it. And there he is advising her. Yep. There he is. He's the leadership vision for her with the big ego, charisma, moving some ob obstacles. So the only way, the only game plan is play victim, but I don't think she's going to want to. So he's like, well, you're the victim here. <clears throat> no, she's not, but that's their perception. Challenging position. Marcus Anderson advising Megan. Yeah, and business is over too. It's just done and over with. It just doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. It's just more lies. He lies to her. He probably agrees with her. Yes, you're the victim here. So he, you know, and she wants to move. He, she wants him to move obstacles because the, the king of wands moves obstacles out of the way. He's not going to be able to. It's, I can't do anything. It, it's game up. At the, with this, it's, it's just game up. You want me to do what? I can't. So he won't be able to. So he's just going to keep his charisma and his charm going, but he fears commitment from her because the King of Wands also fears commitment, but he's very much alpha energy about business and making bold plans. He helped her make those big, bold plans. It's almost like the job's done. We did what we could. This was what we meant to do. Now you're out, uh, you know, but he's fearing the commitment to her. And there's a lot of ruthless dominating energy with that King of Wands. So let's get to the challenging position, challenging position, challenging position for Marcus Anderson and Megan. Ooh, that wanted out. Challenging position. Oh, party, party on, girlfriend. Let's party. The three of cups. Yeah, you're still my friend, but it's a challenge. I don't know if I want to hang out with you. Yeah, now it's the time for him to pull back because he's going to be just like her. With the three of cups, that's the support measure, the safety net. Well, yeah, your challenge. Who is your community now? Ah, uh, your your community is being attacked on Instagram for starters because you're shut, getting shut down. Uh, it's the honeymoon phase, also honeymoon phase card. 
Um, it's definitely the party, the family reunion, reunion, getting back together, uh, the support measure, the, the whole, you know, you, we're friends, we're always going to be friends, but that's kind of like on the line right now and very, very challenged to even want to be friends with her because it doesn't look good for him on the business front. So I think the friendship is really highly challenged and under a lot of stress right now. He's ready to pull out and move her out of his way. Yep, he's going to be play just like her. When she hits an absolute bottom, where is he going to be? He's going to, bye, sorry, Megan. I might be getting married now because this is also a marriage card. So he might be thinking about getting married right now. Focal point, focal point, which would be uh, same-sex marriage. Focal point, focal point. Yeah, full stop. He's going to go full stop on her. With the uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. Unachievable aims to change anything. He can't move things. He can't do anything. I'm, we're stuck here. We're stuck. And, um, you know, I, I don't really want to be seen with you. Uh, it's a travel card. Uh, with the Wand in reverse, a lot of plans are falling apart. Uh, you know, being a support measure is falling apart, being triggered and angry. So he's like, nah, I don't want to be around her. Uh, she doesn't have much of a personality with the uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. There's a lot of money instability, very bad messages being delivered, um, you know, just lacking the enthusiasm, too many lies and deceit and uh, control. And uh, he's like, nope, I can't fix this. I can't do anything. Uh, we're not really friends anymore uh, because the page of wands in reverse is not someone who's truly your friend. So it's, it looks like it's looking like the friendships is falling apart. It's falling apart because it's for his benefit for business because he's a he sees himself as a high ranking business guy. Uh, let's get to the hidden, the hidden, the root. Let's get right to the root here for Marcus Anderson, the root. She wants to rise up. Come on, you got to help me, but he doesn't want to. Yep, you got to help me fix this. I need to be, I need to be, uh, I need to rise up. I need, I need to be the boss. You're not supposed to help me in business, but I think he's all about himself. And uh, she wants business. He, he, she wants his, his assistance, his advice, because she, that's a business person to rise up. So is that they both have a passion to rise up, you know, go for just it's like the rising Phoenix from the male and the female and she's expecting him to keep to, she kind of tags along with him and gets his word on how to rise up. But he's like, no, I can't do anything for you. So the whole thing was to help her rise up, but, and be that support measure, but it's just falling apart. So challenge, past position that doesn't serve, past position, past position that doesn't serve is letting go. They don't want to let go. They didn't want to end it. Transformation, uh, basically saying goodbye has never served, was never something they could do because that's why he keeps going back. They have problems. Saying goodbye never happens. So it may still stay that way. They may have another cycle with this sitting here. It could end up being another cycle where it's a temporary shutdown. But saying goodbye and, and transforming yourself just doesn't serve. He doesn't see her being able to transform and get out of the situation. Uh, making way for the new doesn't really serve. He doesn't want to make way for her anymore. So it is the end is here. It should be here, but I think it's a stalled energy. It doesn't really serve him, but he knows he needs to do it. Going into the future, going into the future, going into the future for Marcus Anderson with Megan, going into the future, going into future. It's full stop. Uh, no more fires to light. Uh, peace. We just have to, we have to, we have to silence our egos here. Drop all grievances. Uh, just accept it. Just silence your ego. We need some harmony. So I think they they have their little tiffs or fights full stop and for peace. He does that so he can get some mental peace. It's sort of like a respite period uh, to get away from her. So he can recuperate himself. And he's focused on his job and she's focused on hers. Uh, feelings in the situation with Marcus Anderson and how he feels about Megan right now. What's he doing with Megan? What's he doing with Megan? What's Marcus Anderson doing with Megan? Wow, that flew out. We got 10 of wands in reverse. No, not likely to ever rebuild. I think he's telling her, yeah, you can never rebuild what you had. You lost it all. You got to just accept it. Uh, you know, I know it doesn't serve you to say goodbye and, and, and make way for the new, but it's looking like things aren't working out for you or for us in this matter. And uh, 10 of wands in reverse is just no reconciliation. 
uh, you know, it's it's not my fault, back to more kind of victim stance, victim stance, just like the victim stance with the Ten of Swords in reverse. So victimhood, a lot of victimhood here. So they both play the same game of victimhood and, uh, you know, can, cannot help her because Ten of Wands upright is, I need help, come help me. And even though if he's burdened with his own issues of business and doing his own things, uh, if it was upright, he'd be able to not only carry his own load, but help her because Ten of Wands upright can actually help other people while they're burdened themselves here. Nope, I can't do that. I'm too busy with my job. I can't help you right now. So right now he's unavailable, full stop. I'm just trying to be at peace. I'm trying to work here. So he's hyper-focused on his own career. He's got career issues because Soho House is, is closing houses. So he is really focused on probably relaunching something new. That could be what he's doing with this with the three here, three of cups, trying to get a new community vibe going. I'm getting the feelings he's trying to start his own sort of uh, brand of Soho house. Probably going to relaunch something in his own vision. Next position. Wow. The devil with the three of wands. Yeah, we put in all the, we put in all our efforts looking for the, the improvement to come in for money, for money. And it is with the the devil card, it was just enmeshment, control in front of the world, uh, putting in all the right moves to get the money. Hey, honey, you got what you wanted. You got the money. We put in all the moves. It came in. You got the material goods because the devil's about material goods. It's about addictions. So they've had this addiction to each other. They put in moves together in front of the world to plan their path. Their whole path together was about material possession, controlling others, using their dark side. It's, it's self-sabotage. And uh, it was a self-sabotaging relationship of enmeshment of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And that was their friendship right there. And they traveled the globe to get it. It was a part of their life path together was of the dark energy. And to them, it all came in. They got what they wanted. They enjoyed it thoroughly. And it did happen. They planned it and it came. Hopes and fears, Marcus Anderson and Megan. He's probably thinking, if you just focus enough, you can get it. Just be at peace. It'll come if you keep working at it, Megan. But I'm kind of busy with my own stuff. I can't help you right now. So that's probably what he's saying. I already taught you how to do it, is how I'm feeling. And you can build your own community. Yeah, it, may, it probably won't happen, but you need to build your own community. Hopes and fears, Marcus Anderson. Hopes and fears, Marcus Anderson. Wow, there we go. Yeah, not enough resources. I can't help you. He's running He's running broke, too. They're both running broke since he doesn't have a job anymore, since he doesn't have what he's used to. He's lost funny. He's lost resources. He's lost connections. I don't have the resources to help you right now. I can't help you right now. It's not worth it to me right now. The juice is not worth the squeeze in that position. I cannot build you up anymore. Uh, I've taken stock. I'm running low. Uh, I cannot become your boss anymore. I'm not the boss of Megan anymore. Uh, I'm not going to help you with your business. Uh, I'm working on my own business. So she wants her own business. She wants to glow up with that. But people working together is upright. It's in reverse. I can't work with you anymore. I'm not working with you. It's all falling apart. There's no building. It's sinking. It's tanking. It's simply not happening. So it's not happening. It's a bad apple. So he doesn't want to be around the bad apple. Final outcome for Marcus Anderson. Final outcome for Marcus Anderson. Final outcome for Marcus Anderson. There we go. Final outcome. It's a loss. Yeah, he sees her glowing down. See, this is what happens when you get with malignancy. When you lose, they don't want to be around you. He sees her. It's a fail. You, this this whole thing has fallen apart. It's not going well. Uh, you're glowing down. It's infamy in this position with the six of wands in reverse. It's defeated. It is self-centered. There's no harmony. It was the wrong path. Very superficial, negative fuel. Nope, not going to happen. So he doesn't want the alignment. Now that she's fallen apart, Marcus wants to go incognito. He wants to go a wall on her and focus on himself. Exactly the way Megan operates on other people he's doing to her right now. He wants to distance himself. 
He wants to separate himself. Oh, well, we're not together right now. So it's looking pretty bad between them right now. Yeah, bad luck, bad karma, bad fates. Things are spinning in the wrong direction. He doesn't have the money, doesn't have the resources. He doesn't have the luck on his side to help her roll things in her favor, nor in his own favor with the wheel in reverse. It's a negative outcome. And he just wants to return to something else and get away from her. And then we have here, yeah, I'm not your daddy, uh, emperor, emperor in reverse. And she wants him to move obstacles out of the way, but he can't do it. Nope, I, you want me to do some negative karma to, um, you know, basically play daddy, dearest, and uh, you want me to do an overreach of power so that you can get what you want? I can't do that right now. So he's like, nope, I can't do it. I'm not capable of doing it. It's a no and a no. I'm not restoring order for you. I don't have the power to restore order for you. You're also out of the royal family. King Charles will never take you back. You're never getting the money you thought you were going to get. So since she's not getting the money from the royal family, from King Charles, and King Charles won't have, what bad luck. These two right here just says, well, it's done and over with it's completely done and over with i know we wanted to continue it as long as possible to get as much money as possible but you're not getting it and it's a fail and there is no rebuilding here so he's just hyper focused on himself he's pulling the same 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 trick out of the bag the narcan bag so there you have it and it's 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 a value of four in reverse it's unstable a four in reverse is you know lack of building i can't build you back up uh, there is no stability here. There is no sense of security. You're never going to go back. You didn't want to be there anyways. It was built on quicksand. There is no organization for you to go back to. We're not an organization together because four upright is like building an organization, building something. He's trying to build his own organization and having problems with money. And she, so he's just, he cannot, he cannot give her help. She needs help. I can't help you. He did it before. It's almost like, I gave you the College of Education of Greed and how to plan your life path with the devil. Uh, I did my, I taught you well. Now you're on your own. That's almost like you've been to college. I taught you now you, you, you know all the tricks, but it's not working. She can't do a double play because it was on the world stage and you do it on the world stage, you're screwed. Now she remained private. She could have done a wash and repeat, but it's unachievable because it was on the world stage playing the devil to a big family who, from the emperor and the, the royal family, you hit the jackpot, you hit the major, lot, the lottery, you won the lottery with the wheel here, but now it's no longer there. What a fail. You, you know, you're, now you're just infamous. And isn't that what we planned? We kind of planned this all along anyways. You never wanted to go back. So now I can't help you. So now that she wants, she wanted to go back and it was a fail, uh, the relationship suffering because now it's going to be his fault more than likely. She will spin it. Well, who are you? And she's going to probably try and shame him. She'll probably harass him. Uh, I thought we were friends. She's going to do the full shaming on him, but he has the same brain structure as her. That's why they're like this, like, you know, the water reaches its own level. So they're like-minded. And he's doing exactly the way she would get, she would game someone. So he's gaming things his own way, and she has to game things her own way. Uh, we have to game our own game separately, individually. We're not gaming together anymore, is how I feel with this spread. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy the eclipse if you're capable or able to. And also, thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. So, yeah, so what was I going to say? I, I'm going to act like I'm... Um, that um, that really popular um, SNL character, Mallory, Mallory from SNL, and she's 50 years old, and she says she can kick and she can stretch and she can kick, and um, basically I'm gonna pretend that I'm 50 for the rest of my life here, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kick, stretch, and kick, and say I'm 50 years old, and just tell everyone I'm the five and the O. Oh. All right, you guys. Till next time, I'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.